Good evening. He embezzled hundreds of thousands of dollars from taxpayers and used the money to buy gifts for his girlfriends. The I team learned at one point he was giving one of his girlfriends $2,500 a month in stolen university funds. Tonight, we are hearing for the first time from the disgraced former Northern Kentucky University Athletic Director Scott Eaton. The I team's Jason Law has new revelations tonight from Eaton himself and what exactly he spent all the money on. Jason. Scott Eaton is at the beginning of a 10 year prison sentence for embezzling more than $300,000 from Northern Kentucky University. For the last several weeks, I've poured through recently released evidence. I've talked with people connected to this scandal, and I even exchanged letters with the man who fooled so many for so long. Beyond the barbed wire, Inside the Campbell County Detention Center, Scott Eaton is prisoner number 353566. It's a far cry from where he was less than two years ago. Leading the way for the sports program is the director of athletics, Dr. Scott Eaton. Now Eaton was at the top of the NKU sports world. NKU athletics have been successful for a while. But no one paid attention to how he spent university money. It went on for a while because he was able to access the money. Uh, he was able to direct the money, and he did not have sufficient oversight. Kentucky Attorney General Jack Conway says there was a mountain of evidence against the former athletic director. The problems go back to 2006, when Eaton began experiencing what he called financial difficulties. He told investigators he realized the university was not keeping track of his spending. Beginning in 2007 until he was caught in March 2013, Eaton embezzled more than $311,000. He spent more than a quarter of a million on Kroger gift cards, which he then used to buy whatever he wanted. He admitted to embezzling thousands of dollars to buy gifts for his mistresses, which included at least four university employees and one student. For more than a year, Eaton gave a married student he was sleeping with at least $2,500 a month. All of the money was stolen from NKU. It was, uh, it was a pretty brazen scheme. An extensive audit of his expenses revealed many unusual purchases for an athletic director. He spent more than $26,000 at Barnes & Noble, picking up a copy of The Confident Woman, and considered love, its moods in many ways. He rang up almost $9,000 at Kohl's, which included purchases for ladies' socks, t-shirts, and pillows. There are some salacious details to this story. I recognize that, but he is not in jail for being a bad husband. He's in jail for stealing over $311,000 from Northern Kentucky University. Scott Eaton turned down our request for an interview, but he wrote us a letter. In his jailhouse letter to the I team, he admits much of what happened is indefensible. But he also wrote, I dedicated 15 plus years of my life to NKU and making it a better place. And I am sure that there are many who would like to learn the rest of the story. But I do not think it is a good idea at this point in time, especially for my family. We showed Scott Eaton's letter to the man who put him behind bars. He appears to say he dedicated 15, more than 15 years of his life to making NKU a better place. Um, I would say that he really shook the confidence that a lot of people have um, in NKU. University President Jeffrey Murns says the school has tightened up on its accounting and has reduced the number of workers who carry a university credit card. We have done and continue to do all that we can to minimize the risk that anything like this will ever happen again. Now, the absolute earliest Scott Eaton can be released is May of 2016. Whenever he gets out of jail, he is required by law to begin paying back all the money he stole from NKU. We're live tonight. Jason Law, not on your side.